risk versus reward. Do you want to do real estate? Are you willing to take that risk? Risk, risk, risk. And I love every avenue of real estate, but let's talk about the risk and the reward. So these are all different categories where you can make money in real estate and be involved in it all. Probably lowest risk of all of them uh, would be generally the contractor or the realtor. These are service industries, no real risk in to lose any money other than the time and energy you put into it is your only risk. You don't have a monetary loss. And that's what we're meaning by risk. So your probably lowest risk would be, no offense to any realtors or contractors out there, but you're trading your time for money still. So there's not much of a loss other than time in any deal. Uh, you can bid a job, of course, and go wrong as a contractor. You know, you can overbid, but that's more on your skill set and so forth. Um, so that's why they're a little more risk in a, than a realtor. Realtor is just going to trade their time for money as well. When you're trading your time for money, your biggest loss is your time. Um, that's how you lose on a job. And time is very valuable, of course, but we're talking kind of bigger risk here. So let's talk some of the bigger risk. Um, wholesaling is also not that much of a bigger risk. Actually, contractor probably has a little more risk than a wholesaler, honestly. Uh, no, no overhead. A wholesaler is going to just lock in a property and basically sell it. It's not as risky as a contractor, I would say, too. He's just training his time for a contract and selling that contract off. And if you don't close on a deal, all you're losing out is on the contract. So again, these are probably low risk things. And then the investor, I would say, is your next least risk of all. They're just investing passively on a property. They're secure. They're very secure. They have promissory notes, mortgages, even personal guarantees. They own the asset more so than even the investors and so forth that like us because when you sell that property, you have to pay back all the investors first before us flippers, commercials, these guys, we're, we're the last ones to get paid back. So they're probably right in here on the next thing because they are now part of the property and they're dependent on these large assets more so. They're dependent on the property selling. So here's our big three risk factors. To each his own, honestly, I think they're all almost equally in his risk, more so on your skill set of that risk. Only reason I would differ in th these guys is just the dollar amounts. You know, a house flipper, he's going to obviously do a little smaller than a bigger commercial type deals, but you know, the risk is greater. You know, you're buying a house, you're hoping to sell it, you're banking on huge profits. Um, if you didn't do your homework, if you didn't figure out that property right, then you know, you're going to be way off. So that house flipper be less than the multifamily guy. The multifamily guy, you're just buying bigger property, bigger assets, almost a little bit less risky sometimes uh, because now you have standard rent. Properties will last longer because you have rents coming in and so forth. So I, it could be really close to a flipper. They almost would interchange. And a commercial, it is a great reward but I think the risk is a lot higher. Long-term, these tenants can move out and replace some tenants. And if you, again, these are just bigger numbers. You're in the, you know, the five, 10, 15, $20 million sometimes for these kind of properties. But if you're not flipping these and you're keeping it from buy and hold, which will definitely offset the risk and kind of bring them down here because they have cash flow. You know, the housing flipping side sometimes doesn't have that cash flow to make up for it all. But it kind of just more on the dollar amounts you know, when you're trading your kind of time for money, you, you, you don't lose as much. You lose out on time if you're, you know, off on your dollar amounts for contractors or if you're a realtor, you know, you change your time for money, even wholesalers. You're really tr selling your, not really time for money, but you're selling a contract for money. <laughs> you know, these were selling properties for money. So I would say realtor is the lowest risk, wholesaler next, contractor investor multifamily and flipper probably tied and commercial probably beats them out a little bit more and the really the risk is not understanding your market not understanding your numbers not being prepared and not doing your homework you buy you make money on the buy and that's how you make money on all of these processes but you can make a lot of money on everything of these so they all can be over here tough question but it's to each his own check it out aloha